Bring in this Alex. I heard you have been making Tim Burton reviews. Yes. And I've heard they're doing quite well so far. Oh, thank you. That was not a compliment. Oh. But your next review will be one of his most gruesome, most terrifying of all his creations so far. Ooh. It is Sleepy Hollow. Oh, Sleepy Hollow? Oh, that's funny. In fact, actually, that's hilarious. What? But it's gruesome, terrifying, full of decapitations and blood. Yeah, and it's funny. I mean, where can you go wrong with Tim Burton and horror movies? Oh. Very well. Carry on and make your reviews. Thank you. First experiences. Well, this was a birthday present that I got the DVD uh, for my 15th birthday. And I, re <laughs> I remember because at boarding school, when it's your birthday, you are allowed to have like full access of like the cozy or living room or whatever and kind of like host like a little bit of a party and, like have any movie that you want and everything and obviously i chose sleepy hollow because hey i got it for my birthday um so <laughs> and um everyone has to be involved so while i was suffering through a lot of chick flicks and a lot of romantic comedies it was finally my birthday and I finally got to watch what I wanted to watch and yeah, it was just so funny. Like, I remember, like, so many girls were, like, so creeped out and I was just laughing hysterically. I was like, this is hilarious! And, like, you know, and everyone was going, no! <laughs> just no! Just don't. Um, which is funny because I, I don't think it's that scary, but anyway. Um, but, um, yeah, I was just laughing. <laughs> Um, maybe it's because I was laughing so much because everyone else was so creeped out and I was just like, yeah, you think I, you think that you're suffering through this? I have to suffer for your shitty movies. So, um, you know, so it kind of felt really nice. Um, but anyway, I'm probably going crazy. Uh, on to the review. So now, from Tasha's personal favourite Tim Burton movie, here's the Sleepy Hollow tribute. Trivia. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> during, film, during filming, Tim's present for Johnny Depp's birthday was a signed photo of Angela Lansbury saying from one de detective to another. And if any of you don't know, uh, she was in the uh, show, TV show Murder, She Wrote, and that was one of the good ones. Mmm. There's too many! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's my favourite though? It's, um... I like Sherlock. Oh, Diagnosed Murder. Oh, that's good school deep I'm typing it. <laughs> Uh, the scene where the horseman throws a pumpkin at Ichabod was a homage to the Disney cartoon. Must watch. It is fine. That was weird, that yeah. short. I mean, it's good, and I recommend it, but yeah, it was weird. <laughs> uh, as Christopher Walken, the Hessian, who had difficulties on the horseback, a mechanical horse was borrowed from the studios that was used in National Velvet with Elizabeth Taylor. Yes, and that horse did look pretty realistic, I must mm. admit. Mm. Uh, Casper Van Dien, who plays Brom in real life, is related to the Van Tassels. Mm. Which, by the way, can I just ask you guys something? In, and I'm going with like the original short story and the Disney cartoon, is Katrina a bit of a bitch? Because like, I feel as though she's like using Ichabod to get to Brom. I don't know, it just kind of... Every time I watch that short, I kind of get that feeling. Uh, overall, there are 18 decapitations and 7 faints. All from Johnny! Oh, we know it! Actually, no, a couple of them were from, um, uh, Katrina. And they were f I, I remember watching it the first time, I was like, how many times do you think? Yeah, you have to watch it and you're like, you've got a tally chart saying, like, what's wrong with this guy? And speaking of decapitations, uh, Richard Griffins, who played the manuscript Phillips, correct me if I'm wrong, um, he would not allow the head to be shown on camera until he had his approval. Hmm. But then again, seeing your own head in a box. <laughs> yeah, you probably have to look at it and first and think, God, I'm on the mind, my wife doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry to mean it. 
Richard was a great actor. He was. Mm. He was one. He's one of my favourites, actually. Okay, so again, like I said that I was laughing a lot in my first experience, again, probably because of the circumstances, but because it's funny! It's really, really funny! And I, I just, I like the fact that it was both scary and funny. It was like, it's like a horror movie with tongue in its cheek, like, it's great! That's just great, you know, and I, I think it comes down to, um, I think it comes down to just you know, Ichabod himself, I find funny, um, you know, I, I think it's just the fact that, you know, he faints a lot and, you know, blood is squirted on his face and they take it in a humorous way, you know, and it's kind of, um, you know, just the kind of way he kind of reacts at things, you know, it's, it's, pr it's pretty funny and it's like, you know, when I watch it, it's like, well, can you blame him? Because that's how I would react, you know, if that was happening in front of me. But, um, yeah, it was, um, because that's what I love about Tim Burton's comedy, is that it's mostly situation humor. So, you know, where, you know, you would faint if you see something like that, you know, you would probably pass out and like, you know, but to other people, that's funny. Um, you know, and, you know, I probably, I've probably said this before, um, but, you know, I'm saying it again. Um, and, you know, I like the fact that, you know, the, the, that Ichabod is, you know, they say that he's described as someone who pretty much lives in his head. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, I like the way he talks and I like the way that I love his gadgets and I love them. <laughs> you know, he, he's trying to act like, you know, he's very professional but he's just downright terrified and like sort of grossed out and everything. It's just, fu it's funny. Um, and, uh, you know, and then <laughs> Like, you know, Katrina's kind of, you know, she's kind of, she's a bit more calm. And so, you know, it was it was interesting sort of seeing that kind of contrast, you know, a bit. And, you know, that, that makes it even more entertaining. And my funny, the thing that always makes me laugh, and I don't know if I'm the only one who laughs at this, but I do. It's when they're about to go into the witch's um, cavern and they... Um, and like Ichabod like like sort of pushes young Masper the kid right in front of him and he's kind of like yeah you go first you go first <laughs> that always makes me laugh and I was like I don't know that's probably what I would do I was like you know I can imagine like if me and Tash were in that situation we'd be like no you go first no you go first no you go first <laughs> you know um I'd probably be like that and um yeah um so it's it's funny but the thing that also makes it brilliant is not just the humor, but also the atmosphere. Again, this was taken from inspirations from a lot of Hammer Horror films, and you can definitely tell. Um, yeah. So, um, but that was great. It still kept that atmosphere. It knew when to sort of let the environment kind of take over from the comedy and the characters, you know, that's great. And I think in any horror movie, even if it, you know it's all out scary or you know just um, if you are gonna add a little bit of humor you know you always need atmosphere and I and that is what I think a lot of horror films today are not getting I think the last one that did it for me the last one that I saw uh, was probably uh, the woman in black I thought that had atmosphere um, you know but others nowadays they just feel as though you just need violence and that's it and it's like no, you need much more than that to make it work. But I don't know, maybe that's just me, but uh, uh, but this is one of those movies that do it. And the thing that I really, really appreciate are the effects. And this is pretty rare that I say something like this, because, you know, I've said before, I'm not a huge fan of CG. You're wondering, why do you like Alice in Wonderland? I explain, there is a reasoning behind the CG. If there's a reason behind the CG, fine. You know, great then that's fine. But I, um, but this, obviously this film was made in 1990, 1998, and then released, whatever. And, um, this was around the time when CG was really getting big and everyone felt like it just had to be used. Um, particularly in horror movies, they always said, oh, well, CG is basically meant to look realistic. You know, if we always use CG, it's gonna look so scary. And it's like, no, it doesn't always look scary. You kind of need to put in a little bit more of an effort into it to make it look good. Um, so, for example, like, a lot of people thought that, you know, 
uh, blah, blah, blah. So I think at the start everyone wanted the Headless Horseman to be completely CG, but then they decided, no, we need an actor, just, just remove its head. And it works because when you have a real actor doing all the action and everything, you you know, get the feeling that he's there in front of you and it helps the other actress perform as well. So it did really good. So even though it has no head, it looks pretty realistic because it is, you know, it is a real actor. Um, and then, you know, CG in this film, it's kind of, uh, you know, there are some in there, but it's not like huge. They're mostly minor things, you know, sometimes you can see them and sometimes you can't like, like the smoke sometimes acting out, um, acting out on its own or you know sometimes you can see faces in the fire or something like that everyone seems to miss that but I always see that I don't know if I'm going crazy but um <laughs> maybe that's what they wanted you to do but um as far as like the actual decapitations and you know the you know the blood from you know the tree and you know everything that's all pretty much from animatronics and other things and um you know I learned that they used a mechanical horse because Christopher Walken had problems riding a horse and they made it look, you know, they used an animatronic, they didn't, I don't know, put them on a green screen set or whatever, whatever, however you do that. They just, um, yeah, they, uh, yeah, they used an animatronic and it looks, you know, I couldn't tell it was fake, you know, I couldn't tell it was fake, I thought it was a real horse, so, you know, that, that, that's pretty, that's pretty great. And, um, you know, it goes down to, like, the costumes, the makeup, the production design, they're all so good and they s add so much atmosphere and that's great, you need stuff like that. And the photography, I love the photography. Um, I remember, like, I remember my mom decided to watch this movie, and which is weird because she's not really into horror movies, but um, she she loved the photography because, like, you know, I think that's one of the things that she looks more at in movies. She's always like, oh, I love the way it looks and everything, and you know, it's like that's probably why like Sherlock Holmes is one of her favorite movies because um, that one's got really good photography in it. But she really likes this one as well. Um, you know, and it's just a great ride, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit, um, it's a little, obviously it's going to be a bit more darker than something like Beetlejuice or Mars Attacks or something, but it still feels like a fun adventure, and I really got lost in it, you know, I didn't, you, you sort of kind of, you kind of go, who's going to make it out alive and who doesn't, you know, in these kind of films, you know, the action shots were really, really good, and yeah, it's a fun adventure. Um, with really interesting and out there characters, uh, we've got a mix of a lot of American and British actors, you know, like, so many legendary actors actually, like, you know, like, uh, Michael Gambon and, uh, Michael Goff and, um, Christopher Walken, like I said, uh, Miranda Richardson, uh, you know, Johnny Depp's in it, uh, Christina Ricci, um, it's just, uh, it's a, it, uh, Richard Griffiths, my god, how did I forget about him? Um, you know, so it's, uh, yeah, it's a lot of great cast and they really brought something to it and they fit it into this world. And, um, and yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much what it is and, you know, um, it's pretty much become my, my Halloween movie. I always have to watch it around Halloween. Um, because it gives that atmosphere, but it also gives a lot of comedy and just, yeah, it's, it's a really interesting film. It's a great looking film and it's greatly shot and put together and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, so I hope you enjoyed this review and I will see you in the next one.